Hello again and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make toadstool ornaments for your garden. To make toadstool ornaments you will need a worktop protector, a knife, some waterproofing agent, some air dry clay, some paint and a paintbrush. Take the amount of clay that you need out of the bag. I'm using about that much. And then you need to make sure you get all of the air out of the bag when you seal it. And that will keep the clay nice and moist. So break the clay in half so you've got two balls roughly the same size. To make the stem or the base of your toadstool, you're going to roll this piece of clay into a sausage shape and then press it down on your work surface to give it a sturdy base. For the cap, of your toadstool, you're going to roll a ball of clay, the other ball of clay in your hands to make a ball, and then you're going to push your thumb into the centre of the ball so that it fashions a cap shape that will be the top of your toadstool. You can make it as big or as small as you like. And then taking your knife, do little lines on the underside of what will be your cap for your toadstool to give it texture. Like that. Then take the base. Attach it to the cap and there's your tube stall. Air dry clay is a brilliant thing. It's really easy to manipulate and to mould and shape. The only problem with it is that it isn't waterproof and if you're wanting to use it for an ornament in the garden like we're doing the toadstool ornaments then you do need to waterproof it. So the next thing you need to do is put your waterproofing agent, you don't need a lot just a little bit, a little goes a long way, into an old tub. Give it a mix and then start painting it on your sculpture. Make sure that you've managed to cover the whole of the sculpture. to get on the underside and all of the edges because if you don't and it rains then wherever the waterproofing agent hasn't touched your sculpture 
it will just go into a just dissolve into a big old soggy ugly mess and we don't want that when we've done a beautiful sculpture then all we do is leave it to dry. Once the waterproofing solution is dry, it's time to paint your sculpture. I've squeezed some paint from the tubes onto an old saucer. You can use a paint palette. In fact, it's probably a better idea to use a paint palette. Um, but unfortunately, mine's in use at the moment, so I'm using an old saucer instead. I've used oil paints but you can use acrylic paints if you prefer um, and I've put some white, red and a yellowy brown colour for the underside of the toadstool cap. So I'm going to start by painting the base or the stem of the toadstool in white. all painted white. Next I'm going to do the underside of the cap in the yellowy brown colour. that the underneath of the cap is now painted so I'm going to do a nice rich red for the cap of the toadstool. toadstool is painted um, the next thing to do is to leave it to dry obviously with the toadstool you want to pop some white spots on the top of the cap but you can't do that until the paint has dried okay so now that the red on your toadstool is dry you can paint on the white spots As you can see I've painted white spots onto the cap of the toadstool. Now we just need to leave that to dry. And there we go. Our whimsical toadstool garden ornaments. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make toadstool garden ornaments today. If you are enjoying my video, please do feel free to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, I'll see you again soon.